Yes, in this module here, I'm going to be um, uh, showing you how to build the uh, malware analysis um, tools using um, uh, Cuckoo Sandboxing on the um, VMware environment. Uh, okay, what is Cuckoo Sandboxing? Cuckoo Sandboxing is the automated uh, analysis um, tools that can be installed on um, VMware workstations or can be installed on a physical uh, box. And um, it is um, written in uh, Python modules and um, can be installed very easily uh, as long as you have all the uh, prerequisites um, installed beforehand. Um, I'll be showing you how to install all the uh, prerequisites um, Python uh, libraries uh, in the next uh, module. Okay. Um, the um, and also uh, we'll be um, you know install the analysis uh, guest VM, which is run in a Windows Seven uh, within uh, the um, Google Sandboxing environment. So for this whole exercise here, I will be using. Um, I'll be installing the um, Cuckoo uh, Sandbox on uh, VMware workstations um, and then I'll be in also install the uh, VirtualBox uh, Windows 7 within uh, the uh, VMware workstation as well. So yeah, it sounds a bit weird. Um, yeah, this is how we're going to roll. For um, this whole exercise here, I'll be using um, Ubuntu as uh, um, operating systems and the um, um, the virtualization software uh, within the uh, Linux operating systems, I'll be using a VirtualBox. And um, uh, for the uh, Cuckoo environment, um, the prerequisites, uh, the, you need to install the Python uh, first and uh, also um, uh, Python libraries. Uh, these are the uh, libraries that uh, you must install um, first before uh, you can run the um, um, pip install dash u cuckoo, uh, which will install the cuckoo um, software on the uh, VMware. Okay, now let's go to uh, let's go and have a look at the demo. So I'll be um, showing you how to set up the Cuckoo uh, VMware workstation environment. All right, I'll be uh, doing the up, uh, app get update first before I uh, run the um, uh, install the Python. Okay, yep, I just did it. And uh, now I'm gonna run the uh, app get install Python and um, I won't show you how to install. I just um, and hit the enter. It's just going to install it. Um, I already have it installed. So to verify that you have a Python install, you just go to which which Python, and uh, you see that uh, it's installed on this uh, in this directory here. Okay, and um, now I am going to install the uh, prerequisites. Um, the libraries, the Python libraries, and uh, oh, which is already installed. I'm not going to install it again. I just say no. Uh, just say yes on it. That's fine. No problems. And it will take a little while um, to install those libraries. And I'm just going to pause this um, uh, video for a while until it's finished. All right, now the, um, all the prerequisites are now installed, and uh, I'm going to run uh, pip um, install at the cuckoo by using pip. So we typing pip install dash uh, u cuckoo and uh, hit enter. I'm not going to do that because uh, I already installed Cuckoo in here and uh, I'm just going to uh, skip these steps and now once the um, Cuckoo install you have to do a few things um, 
which uh, modify the uh, configuration file and uh, also uh, the uh, virtual box um, configuration as well um, yep I will be showing you how to do that so once it's installed uh, you need to um, navigate to the um, cuckoo um, directory um, which is um, it's a hidden directory so what you have to do is you have to do a cd dot c cuckoo and um, so you will need to navigate to the cough um, directory and um, just uh, list the uh, our files there um, so first of all what we need to do is we need to uh, modify um, cuckoo.conf okay so what we're going to do is just do nano cuckoo.conf and, um, and everything from the top here it's so by default so just leave it as it is um, the place where you need to um, change is uh, here um, the virtual box so the machinery virtual box so that means uh, your guess uh, it's a virtual box um, and um, and one more place that you need to change is um, oh, and this bit here too you need to go and create the uh, uh, cuckoo uh, router uh, directory within uh, TMP directory so you need to go and do that um, and uh, okay this one here it's always 56.1 which is um, virtual box um, IP and uh, another one where you need to change uh, where is it where is it um, All right, now you uh, make a change on the uh, cuckoo.conf and now you need to head to uh, reporting.conf. Um, so just go to nano and reporting.conf and what you need to change in here is uh, making sure uh, the reporting server is um, this 56.1 which is a uh, cuckoo box uh, and uh, making sure the enable equal uh, is yes uh, which uh, where the mongo db is, is running from um, you need that otherwise you wouldn't be able to use uh, the um, cuckoo web interface uh, and um, once you've done that um, you are good to um, save this file by going to Control O and save it. Um, and now, once you've done the reporting done conf, conf uh, and you need to go to virtualbox dot uh, conf. So we just head it to uh, virtualbox here. And uh, what you need to do here is. Uh, well, by default, it's a VBox net dot z uh, net zero. Uh, making sure uh, your interface name is called VBox net zero, and the uh, the machine is the name of the machine. My machine is called test dash PC, and I just uh, put it in there. Um, and um, if you change your uh, machine name here, then you must. Uh, specify your machine name here as well otherwise uh, it will not work um, and the label is just uh, whatever it is and my one is just put in uh, Windows 7 Win 7 and um, the um, the machine the virtual machine is uh, it's on 56.100 so um, this is what I set it up on my um, 
uh, Windows 7 um, workstations. Um, well, if you change your IP or whatever, um, yeah, you must um, update this bit here. So I just leave it as is. Uh, and the snapshot here, it's that's a most important bit. Uh, once you um, bring your uh, guest VMs up, you need to um, um, snapshot it first, and then um, uh, specify the other uh, snapshot name. And uh, for this uh, exercise here, I call it uh, my snapshot. Uh, call, uh, beef before infections. So this is my snapshot name. And um, so once you've done that, uh, you can um, save and close this um, files here. And all right, that's all for um, configuring um, Cuckoo after the after install. Um, that's that's done, and um, we'll go to the next um, section on how to prepare um, Win7 guests for analysis.